by the early 1990s, the Hiranandani brothers had constructed the first buildings in Powai. But it was hard getting people to move into a remote suburb. The Hiranandani brothers decided that the only way to attract people to Powai was to provide a quality of life that could not be found anywhere else in Mumbai. And the secret was lush green gardens. From day one, we took the name Gardens because we wanted it to be a community, a township within the gardens. The gardens would be the essence of the place. One of the key indicators of a good quality of life in a city is access to green open spaces. While a city like New York keeps more than 25% of its land for recreational use, Mumbai only uses 6%. In a city where space is a big constraint, it is difficult to pitch for free open spaces. But the Hiranandanis made no compensation for their land use. Today, more than half of the township is covered with greenery that is open for recreational use. But taking a dry, arid patch of land in 1991 to lush greenery in the present was not easy. Surendra Hiranandani conducted extensive research into the local flora to fulfill this ambitious dream. So I found this rare book, The Flora of Raigad District, and Mumbai does belong to Raigad. This I got from Botanicals, Royal Botanical Society in Kolkata, this book, a collection of book written in the early 20th century, late 19th century, called The Flora of Bombay, which actually talks about all the indigenous species which were there. You could not rely on anybody, you had to do your own research. All plants in the Hiranandani gardens start their life in their very own nursery, right in the heart of the township. Here, more than 110 horticulturists work tirelessly to maintain the flora in the township. Over the years, they have planted more than 4 lakh saplings of more than 150 different species that cover an area bigger than 28 football fields. Here, at the nursery, research is conducted into new ways of integrating greenery into the urban environment. Like the ficus repens creeper that attaches itself to walls and reduces the temperature of buildings by one degree, thus reducing electricity bills. Or roof gardens that bring greenery into unutilized spaces. The many promenades and gardens across the estate provide a desperately needed green lung to the integrated township. Yeah, I remember my own uh, friends, close friends, whom I was trying to sell one or two apartments to. They said, you've gone crazy. They said, you know, you're going to go bankrupt constructing Pawai. And uh, you forget the gardens. You won't be able to have a single inch of lawn that you will be able to afford at the end of the day. Forget your 50 and 100 acres of gardens that you're talking about. The hard work paid off as families began moving into Hiranandani Gardens, attracted by the opportunity for a healthy lifestyle in a congested city. But gardens need water, and water is a precious commodity in a city like Mumbai. Mumbai consumes 3.3 billion litres of water a day. 
With a population density of 27,000 people per square kilometer, it is difficult to move water resources into other areas. Mumbai generates 10 billion litres of wastewater, of which only 15% is treated and recycled. But in Hiranandani, they have managed to recycle more than 80% of sewage water. In 1989, when it was not fashionable to talk about sewage treatment, you know, all that came in the late 90s, we did 100% sewage recycling. What I wanted to do in the gardens was so huge, there was no way I would get enough water from the municipality. We treat sewage as a resource since 1989. Leading the charge of water recycling in the Hiranandani Gardens Powai is marine engineer Anant Palkar. Total sewage from Hiranandani Gardens gets collected here in this tank beneath. This is a sewage overflow wall which is letting sewage go to the main sewer lines of BMC. This is generally kept closed and total sewage gets collected here. It is pumped from here for sewage treatment. Around 2 million litres of you know, sewage per day gets collected here and is treated in a sewage treatment plant. 2 million litres, it's around 200 tankers per day. Below every Hiranandani building lies a tank that collects all sewage discharge. The discharge is then pumped into the sewage treatment plant where more than 50% of the water is treated and sent back for use in flushing. The rest of the water is used for gardening purposes. Hiranandani Gardens does not rely on municipal water to keep its plants green. In Mumbai, most of the water going as sewage is treated in a centralized sewage treatment plant of BMCs and they are letting it go to sea. We are blocking the water, whatever water is coming, sewage is coming, we are treating it and reusing it. During summers, not a single drop of water goes out to BMC mains. And in true Hiranandani style, the sewage treatment plant is camouflaged within a functioning park. I don't know a single project in probably in Mumbai at least and Maharashtra where such a large project had its own sewage treatment plant. We were probably the first in the state of a project of this size. Making green spaces available in a city is beneficial not only to its human residents but also to its fauna. Ashish Mantri is an avid photographer and bird watcher who moved to Pawai 15 years ago. Earlier, he travelled 50 kilometres to the nearest bird sanctuary. But today, he finds his treasures right here in Hiranandani Gardens. Can you hear that sound? See, that's a tailor bird. Tweet, 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 tweet. That's a tailor bird. There's a sound which sometime back we were hearing of a, like somebody knocking on the metal. That was copper smith barbet, which, uh, which goes like So creating a metallic sound. So this sound which is That's so normally a sound of a frontal flycatcher. I can see it over there. Oh, it's running away. This is magpie robin, a uh, white color bird, and uh, it sings very beautifully. Early morning, you can hear its call once it comes into the uh, breeding season. I think a perfect way to wake up. Once you are here, it's not Bombay. It's not a city. It's absolutely natural. And this is what I love. I don't have to travel anywhere. I have to just come in, five minutes walk, I'm inside, inside a forest. Look at this place. And nobody would believe that this is Bombay. Over the years, Ashish has witnessed birds slowly moving into Hiranandani Gardens. 
I mean, if I start keeping a checklist, which we normally bird lovers want, uh, bird watchers love to do, I'm sure I would be able to uh, take at least 45 to 50 species, which I've seen over a period of two, three years. These birds are, in a way, a testament to the success of Hiranandani Gardens in transforming an abandoned piece of land into a micro ecosystem. But to turn the estate into a true integrated township, Hiranandani Gardens needed to turn a residential complex into a community by investing in social infrastructure. <laughs> 